Welcome to another segment of SII Motivational Minutes with your host Dwight Lee. And on today's segment, we're going to dive into concepts, philosophies, and principles uh, from four books, um, Psycho-Cybernetics, The Science of Getting Rich, The Power of Subconscious Mind, and Think and Grow Rich. So I'm going to start out with the principle um, from Think and Grow Rich, uh, going the extra mile. Uh, 95 to 97% of people are in jobs that they don't like, uh, that, that, that doesn't have meaning and doesn't have purpose. And so we're just doing what we see do, you know, what the average uh, peer is doing. Well, um, Napoleon Hill discussed the philosophy of going the extra mile. And it's, a, it's literally uh, something that's a game changer and that can open pathways and doors, windows, gates to opportunities that you thought didn't exist. So one of the things that I want to just caution you on and admonish you and encourage you to do that, if you're going to report uh, to that physical location, uh, to, to perform your job, to do the tasks, and to work with team members and so on and so forth. I just encourage you to show up for yourself 100% and apply yourself uh, with all diligence. Um, do the work as if you own the company. And you might say, this guy is crazy, so on and so forth. Well, this principle of going the extra mile is really for real. So I just want you to test it, you know, for 21 days or 30 days, you know, your next... 15 shifts, just go in there, show it for yourself 100% and apply yourself and just see what happens. I mean, you have nothing to lose. Just test it out. Okay. Uh, now I want to move on to uh, the power of the subconscious mind, Dr. Joseph Murphy. Here's something that I want you to instill in your routine. Uh, you know, right before you drop off to sleep and as soon as you arise in the morning are two pivotal times. Um, to impress upon your subconscious mind, according to uh, Dr. Joseph Murphy. So I want you to just set, you know, one or two short term goals or uh, one thing that you would like to see manifest in your life. And before you drop off to sleep, those last three to five minutes when you start to see your feel yourself, you know, dozing off, just silently say to yourself, whatever goal or whatever objective or intention that you would like to see manifesting yourself. You know, maybe you like to be invited to dinner, to eat steak and shrimp, or, you know, whatever is food of your choice or anything, just plan a goal and test it. And then when you fall asleep, do it. And then when you first wake up, show appreciation for something and then just replant that thing again and just test it out, you know, 15, 18, 21 days and just, See how that feels to you and, and see what happens. Um, that's the concept I like to draw from um, the power of the subconscious mind. Uh, the next one I would like to work on is um, Psycho Cybernetics uh, by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. Uh, this book is talking about self image psychology, and uh, he's a famous doctor uh, from the 50s and 60s. Uh, he performed surgeries, you know. Uh, on patients and he noticed or he, he got the hypothesis that even when he fixed a scar on the outside, unless the internal attitude adjusted or changed in the inside, the person, even though the scar was removed, um, didn't feel any different, basically. So what this is alluding to is that the inner attitudes, the inner world, uh, to a large extent, large degree, 99% uh, determines the outside world and that you cannot outperform your self-image. So if you see yourself lowly, if you see yourself uh, non-confident, you know, um, as unable, your results and your outcomes on the outside or the 3D world are going to reflect the same. So you have to... Um, First, you know, locate your self-image, you know, rate yourself from a zero to 10 with a zero being the lowest possible and 10 being the maximum. That means you're at your apex. Everything is working well. You're doing wonderful. You're grand living. Okay. So you might come in at a one or a two 
And the good news is that you can daily do work, inner work on yourself, you know, through affirmations being emotionalized, uh, through journaling, you know, tap back into your inner childhood and pull up the experiences that may have made you feel that particular way and reframe those events. Know that those things weren't cast in stone uh, to set your life on that course the whole entire time of your life, but just a one-off experience or two-off experiences that was just an experience and you framed it a certain way and you can go back in and reverse engineer that thing and frame it, you know, for what it was and now take back your power and move forward in your life, okay? And then the last um, excerpt of a principle concept of philosophy is from um, The Science of Getting Rich by Dr. Waddles. Now, this book talks about um, the formless and, and, and a thinking substance. And when I hear this, it automatically triggers me to thinking about thought, uh, the power of thought, because thinking is the highest function that a man is capable of. So it says that out of this thinking stuff, everything that exists comes from this thinking stuff. So you must become aware of what it is that you're identifying through uh, thought, or you need to understand, like, are your thoughts your thoughts? Are they running on autopilot? Are these the thoughts from epigenetics or from, you know, the age two to seven uh, that you learned in your environment? Or is it thoughts that, you know, deal with um, thought interference, you know, fear indoctrination and just overall environment, perfect strangers, radio, television, propaganda, uh, newspaper, uh, so on and so forth. You got to come to grips with this and begin to get clarity around your thinking because your thinking impacts your believing because belief is a thought that you've emotionalized and you thought over and over again until it's become a habit and it impacts your behavior. It impacts your speech and then impacts your actions, which leads to your results, outcomes, harvests, and yields. And so while we're on this, this leads us to, you know, the five sensory information that you're receiving and goes into uh, the generalizations that you're drawing, the conclusions, the interpretations, and the meaning that you are giving these experiences. And it is out of those um, meanings and framings that your life is evolving around. You know, what lens are you looking out of? Are you looking from a lens of failure, scarcity, mediocrity? Or are you looking from a lens of uh, being a victor, you know, uh, opportunity? You know, how are you perceiving the universe and others? All of this is relevant. And that's what these books are discussing. You know, the science of getting rich, psycho cybernetics, uh, think and grow rich and the power of the subconscious mind. You know, basically life comes down to the meaning that we are giving these experiences and nothing in life has any meaning except the meaning that you give it. So it is important to begin to uh, comprehend these concepts, philosophies, and principles and begin to integrate these in our everyday processes, uh, experiences uh, called life or reality. And as we begin to do these things, as we begin to work with our thinking, we begin to work with our believing, we begin to work with our expecting, we begin to work with our inner and outer speech, and we begin to take right action and process information and not react, but process it intelligently and respond, we'll turn into a whole different person in our lifestyle and everything about us would just change amazingly. We've been live on SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee, uh, discussing four books, um, The Science of Getting Rich, Psycho-Cybernetics, The Power of the Subconscious Mind and Think and Grow Rich, the concepts, philosophies, and principles uh, that we learn in reading these books over and over again. If we can integrate that information and apply it um, consistently, it will change us and it will change our lives. I leave you with this quote. The human spirit is so great a thing that could we rightly comprehend the mind of man, nothing will be impossible to man.